I'm Thanos. Today we're in ancient Greece which has been invaded by the pantheon of Nordic gods who have left the destroyed world in search of new lands to rule over. A first class of gods is about to begin and a new pantheon will be formed from the ashes. The prophet Pythia foresees that the person of great power a new divinus will ascend. As a demigod of great renown, you can win the favor of either side and claim your own seat among the gods. So, let's dive into the box and see what's hiding inside. You always felt special. Since early childhood, you've displayed extraordinary talents and inhuman abilities that none of your peers were able to match. Although your heritage was shrouded in mystery, many around you, including yourself, suspected what you now know for sure. You're a demigod, a powerful being of both godly and human descent. The truth was finally revealed to you through enigmatic dreams which have haunted you for the past year. There were bright visions of lost islands, unknown and graceful foreigners and beautiful gods walking in your presence. But also dark visions sowing catastrophes in the icy wastes of the north and your personal involvement in disastrous conflicts. What all these fantastic dreams had in common was an ever-present and mysterious white-haired woman, always pointing and driving you towards the faraway land of Greece and fueling your ambition of taking your rightful place among the gods. Now, after a long, long journey, you have finally arrived at Delphi, a great sanctuary in the center of Greece and home to the oracle known as Pythia. Perhaps soon you will finally meet face to face with the woman from your dreams. Divinus is a competitive legacy digital hybrid board game for 2 to 4 players that features both a campaign and an infinitely replayable game mode. This mode uses the content that you have changed through the choices you made during the campaign and allows you for infinite replayability. Divinus combines popular tabletop mechanics such as style laying and dice manipulation with the permanent changes of a legacy game and the support of innovative mobile app. Players take the roles of demigods in a continuously changing world who witness the conflict between the gods of the Greek pantheon and the Nordic gods as they arrive in Greece seeking new lands to conquer compete with your opponents to gain favor with each pantheon by fulfilling their goals. At the end of a 12 scenario campaign, the player with the most favor will be declared a Divinus, a new god and the winner of the game. In the center of Greece and the table lies a great sanctuary, Delphi. Depending on the number of players, place the map tiles on the board. Open the scenario box. Each player chooses a color and takes a demigod box which contains 6 dice. Cool thing about these boxes is that you can store all the dice and anything you might acquire later in the game. But also, you can write down your name, titles, favor of Nordic and Greek gods. And here is a space for artifacts gained throughout the game. Open the app on your device and select Start New Game. All players roll their dice and place them in front of them without changing their sides. These are considered to be ready dice that are available to use for taking actions. The player who rolled the lowest total value takes the first player marker and starts the game.
After setting up the scenario, the app has three main sections, Scan or Select, God's Favor and Quests. In the Scan Selection section, you can scan stickers to advance the narrative. The amount of favor each player has earned during the game is displayed in the God's Favor section. The demigod with the most favor is considered to be God's favorite. On the Quest section, you can see information about the current scenario's quests. The game plays over a series of rounds. During each round, the demigods take turns and perform one action. During the first scenario, which works like an intro to the game, they can only choose to explore or rest, but more actions will be available in future scenarios. When you explore, you add tiles to the map, and when you rest, you take back your dice to use them again. To explore, take any number of dice and add or subtract their values. Their total value must be equal to the numbered space on the game board with the map tile you want to acquire. Take the selected tile and add it to your map. Place your dice on the space of the tile taken from the board. Your map can consist of up to 16 visible tiles displayed in a 4x4 grid. When you put your second map tile, you should consider the following. The new tile must be placed side by side with an existing map tile and all of its sides must match the terrain types of all adjacent tiles. Two or more aligned tiles with matching terrain types are considered to be an area. The dice used for the explore action are considered to be exhausted and can only be taken back with the rest action. While you rest, you take back your exhausted dice and re-roll them along with the ready dice. Refill the spaces that were emptied by your dice on the map. Quest cards are revealed at the beginning of a scenario. Fulfilling them is how you will gain favor with the Pantheons. All players can pursue them during the game, but it's a race. Only the first player to fulfill a quest gains all of its bonuses. When a demigod fulfills a quest, tap on the quest button at the bottom of the screen and then on the fulfilled quest. The narrative choices provided by quests make permanent changes to the game world. There are two types of stickers that you can add to the map tiles during the game, Faction and Location. The Faction stickers include Greeks, Vikings and Barbarians, and the Location stickers represent the various locations you can visit while exploring. Each time you explore a tile that has a Location sticker applied to it, you must scan and then read the narrative displayed in the app. Throughout the story, you will come across various gods from both feuding pantheons. Each guard has their own motivations which manifest in the form of personal goals. It would be wise to pursue these as if they were your own, for helping the gods will surely earn you favor and recognition with their respective pantheons. During the game, one of your goals will be to complete the gods' goals in order to gain their favor. This will usually require you to compete with other players for terrain areas or faction symbols. For example, Gaia earns you favor for the most areas you have created of each terrain type, while Ymir earns you favor for the biggest area of each type on your map. The game ends immediately when a player places their final tile to complete a 4x4 map grid. Press the Finish Scenario button in the app to trigger the End Game section and earn favor from the gods. After that, the scenario outro will be displayed. Well, we travelled through Greece, we met Pythia, and we earned a seat among the gods. Until our next adventure, take care and remember, even when alone, the Divine is everywhere.